The latest version of Apple's OS X operating system, El Capitan, is now available as a free update for the Mac. It's promising faster apps and new improved ways to get stuff done. I'm Nate with CNET and today we're going to check out some of those new features. We'll start with Mission Control, a classic Mac feature that helps you keep stuff organized. If you press the Mission Control shortcut here on your keyboard, or just swipe up with three fingers on the trackpad, you get a bird's eye view of everything you're working on. If you want a little more space while you're in the middle of something, just grab that app by the title bar, drag it up to the top of your screen, and you can dump it onto a new virtual desktop. Now, let's say you want to work on two things at the same time. El Capitan's split view gives you a neat full screen option that could prove useful. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. If you're on a cluttered desktop, click and hold the green full screen button on the first app you'd like to work with, and pick a site to drop it on. Now, click the app you'd like to share screen space with. They'll line up side by side on a desktop of their own, with the vertical black bar running between them. Drag that left or right to shrink or extend the app to your liking. If you've already got a few full screen apps running and want to combine some, just hop into Mission Control and drag one on top of the other. They'll pair right up, which is really slick. If you change your mind, you can drag them by their title bars to change their order, or separate them with a click. Apple Spotlight has also learned a few new tricks. It can now, for example, offer weather results. Just search for weather and the name of the city you're curious about, and you'll get the week's forecast. If you want to check out how a particular team is doing, Spotlight can show you results from their last game and give you a peek at the upcoming schedule. If you want to check out a particular player, Spotlight can do that too. You'll get a little info card with stats and links of interest. Now, there's still quite a few things to discover here. Apple Mail now supports gestures. You'll find public transit directions in Apple Maps. Even Safari's learned a few tricks. El Capitan is definitely worth the upgrade. While you're waiting for it to download, head over to CNET and read my full review. I'm Nate. Thanks for watching.